Welcome to week 17. It's pause week. So let's take a look at that. Right now, what I'm going to do is take you into the pause week folder. And we'll go in here. And you're going to notice that I have three steps to a better grade for not just this class, but for any class. Let's look at that first. First thing you want to do is watch this overview video. It explains this document, which is going to help you look at Skyward, see what you're missing, and then put it into this document. This is very similar to what we've been doing for GTD, you know, getting things done. It's taking and writing down the things that matter most in those classes that are going to help your score the most, prioritizing those, kind of like we did with the Fibonacci numbers, and then you're going to work on the most important project for that class, and so on. And that's what this week is about. So please complete that and then put a link, you know, add it into this assignment because this is an assignment. So please add a link to your copy of this document. At the end of the week, I'm going to have you fill out a survey. We'll talk about that later in the week. On Wednesday, we have a different schedule. One hour for each class for extra help. My link is right there. Lastly, we have tutorial, tutoring, that's what I meant, tutoring for these four topics. Feel free to go into that. Just a reminder, these links are on the front page of the CHS website all the time. So that's been there for quite a while. So you could do that. Let's go back to uh, the root level of the folder. And I broke down the steps to completing analysis for this class. Now, each class has a different analysis. So for instance, in School of Rock, it's a song. In film, it's a film. And in game design, it's a game. And I have the overview video on how to do this process. So if you're not sure, you can't remember, it's from week 15, just watch that, it's just a few minutes. And then here is the template that you copy and paste into your blog. And just a reminder, each one of these completed, successfully completed blog posts, meaning you put all the parts in there, um, is worth up to four points. So the more you do, the more points you can add up. So this is a great way to replace previous projects. Just follow the steps here, and when you're done, you'll email me and say, hey, Ledoux, can you replace the week whatever project that was worth four points with the whatever analysis blog post that you're sending or you've already published? And this is a great way to get ready for next semester, which the analysis is going to help us in our team productions. The more analysis you do, the better prepared for you for that you will be. Okay, that is the overview for this week. Thanks so much.